Hi, I'm Shari, and this is my daughter, Layla Moon. Hi, I'm Layla. I'm eight years old. And we're really excited to share yoga with you today. Yoga is something you can do together with your child, with your grown-up, your parent, your sibling, your aunt, your uncle, your grandparents, anyone, forever and ever, no matter how old you get. And yoga is so wonderful. I love yoga because it makes me feel calm, balanced, and focused. I like yoga because it makes me feel calm and strong. It gives me energy, too. I always feel good after a yoga class. Well, let's get started. Let's sit up nice and tall. Imagine there's a string that goes from the top of your head all the way up to the sky that makes you sit up so straight and strong. And let's start by just putting our hands on our belly. And we'll take a few breaths in and out. But before you do, just take a moment and notice how you're feeling right now. Just notice it. And then let it go. And now let's start to breathe, right? Fill your belly with air. And as you breathe out, send your belly button back towards your spine as all the air empties from your belly. And do it again. Breathe in. Fill your belly up. Breathe out. Let all the air out. See if you can make the out breath even longer than the in breath. And now notice how you feel. Let's start our yoga practice by singing the word Om. Om is a universal sound. That's all the dogs barking and the kids laughing and music playing and horns honking and all the sounds and all the noise we hear all the time, all mixed up and squished into this amazing, wonderful sound. Let's do it. Let's all take a deep breath in and with one long breath, we'll sing that wonderful word Om. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's breathe in. Oh. So pretty. Let's warm up with a sun dance. Stand really tall in the front of your mat and just follow along. Reach up high, dive down low. Walk my feet back nice and slow. Downward dog, here we go. Shake one leg, shake the other leg. Roll forward to plank, make a funny face. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Step your right foot up, come into warrior two. Bring your hands back down, step back to plank, make a surprised face. Chaturanga! Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Step your other foot up, come into warrior two. Bring your hands back down, step back to plank, show me your tongues. Chaturanga! Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Oof, oof, oof. Wag your doggy tail. Bend your knees, look up. Jump your feet to your hands. Bow down to your toes. Hello, toes. Reach your arms up high. Let them float to your sides. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> you just finished the sun dance. That was really fun. Let's get even stronger with a warrior sequence. So take one big step back with one leg. We both have our right knees forward. Let's reach our arms to the sky for warrior one pose, and we're going to say, I am strong. I am strong. Excellent. Let's open our arms up to a T. Warrior two pose, that front knee still bent. Say, I am bold. I am bold. Excellent. Now here's the tricky part. Turn your back heel up. Push off that front leg and come forward to balance. Say, my own power I can hold. My own power I can hold. Amazing, Layla Moon. Well done. But what we do on one side, we must do on the other. So let's jump switch our feet. And now our left knee's in front, bent, arms to the sky. We'll do it all over again. Here we go. I am strong. I am strong. Excellent. Open your arms out to a T. I am bold. I am bold. Now, the tricky part, push off that front leg. Balance in warrior three pose. 
My own power I can hold. My own power I can hold. Well done. That's tricky. But how do you feel after doing it? I feel strong. I feel strong too. I love warrior poses. Now we're going to do some challenging poses. I like to do challenging poses a little earlier in my yoga class so we have the strength and the energy to do them successfully. What we need is a wall. So you can bring your mat over to the wall, find a wall, a door, right? And from here, we're going to come into a downward facing dog with our feet at the wall, heels right at the wall, right? When you're ready, we'll step up one foot, then the other foot, so that we come into an upside down L shape, right? Only hold this pose for as long as your body says it's okay, right? If you want to challenge yourself, maybe lift up one leg and then bring it back, the other leg, right? And when you're ready, we'll carefully step down, shake out our dog paws, and then we'll take a rest in mouse pose or child's pose, which looks like this. And stay here for a few breaths. Mouse pose gives us energy and rejuvenation so that we can do our challenging and fun poses again and keep our yoga practice up. Let's try that again. Come into downward facing dog, feet at the wall, and then again when you're ready, step up one foot, then the other foot, and only hold it for as long as your body says it's okay. L dog pose is great for your upper body, your arms, your chest, your back, your belly, makes us so strong so that we can one day work on our handstands and headstands and a lot of other great poses. Shake out your wrists and one more time take a rest in mouth pose. <sighs> done. Let's do some partner poses now. I love sharing partner poses with kids of all ages, with grown-ups, but especially my own daughter. We're going to start with seesaw pose. So stretch your legs out wide and turn and face your partner. So I'm still a little taller than Layla, not for much longer. And I'm still right now a little taller than her. So I'm going to bring her feet to uh, right about right above my ankles. If she were younger and smaller, um, she might bring her feet to my calves or my thighs, but she is growing really fast, so um, we're going to bring her legs right about here. We're going to hold hands, and we're going to seesaw back and forth, nice and slow. Seesaw, seesaw. Now, notice we're not yanking our partners. We're moving nice and slow, right? It's okay to bend your knees. It's okay to not bend your knees. You can lean all the way back. Give me a good stretch. Ah. And then we'll switch. Ah. Feels nice. good. From here, we're going to turn this into a mixing bowl. So we're going to make big circles all the way around. And imagine that you're stirring up some cake batter. And you need to get all the lumps out. And we can go in the other direction too, right? Let's smell that delicious cake batter. I love the smell and taste of cake batter. Let's smell it. Ah, and then freeze. We're going to grab opposite wrists from our partner. We're going to lean back and take a big chest opening stretch, a nice shoulder opening stretch. Ah, and always breathe. And then from here, switch arms again, opposite wrists. Reach back with the other hand, lean back. Ah, this feels good. Yeah, it feels really good for me too. All right, from here, we're going to bend our knees and bring our feet uh, onto the ground or the soles of our feet together. We're going to hold hands in between our legs for our next partner pose, which is lotus flower. We're going to lift up one foot, then the other foot, and then we're going to show each other our neck. Show me your neck. Nice neck. Sit up nice and tall. I like your neck. I like your neck, too. <laughs> and from here, we could bring our legs into the center, arms on the outside, for boat pose. We can go back to flower. <gasps> Show your neck. And back to boat. <gasps> from here, we can even row. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. 
Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. I love it. From here, let's turn around. And we're going to sit back to back and bottom to bottom with our partner. Right. Where's your bottom? <laughs> there we go. Legs straight out in front, right, for lounge chair pose. Right? Lounge chairs have nice long space for our legs. For the first time, I'm going to come forward. And Layla's going to lie back on her lounge chair. She's going to kick out, have an icy lemonade, feel the sun on her face. And we'll hang here for a few breaths, breathing together. <sighs> and see if with every breath out, you can melt a little deeper into the poses. <sighs> and then after a few breaths, we'll come on up to sit. We'll scooch together again. We always lose a little space. And now Layla will come forward, and I get to kick out on this super comfy lounge chair and have an icy apple juice and feel the sun on my face <laughs> and we can breathe together. Ah. The person on top is such a nice chest opener and the person on the bottom is such a nice squishy mushy forward fold. <laughs> and then let's come and sit up again and let's do that one more time because it was so delicious. Now, You'll notice Layla's legs are not stretched out, and that's okay. That's more comfortable for you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to come forward again. You can kick out on your lounge chair. Ah. Always breathe together. And then we'll come on up and switch again. Oh, my lounge chair is so comfy. <laughs> deep breaths in, deeper breaths out. And we'll come on up. That was so nice. Our next pose is one of my favorites. But before we do it, as a partner pose, I want to know that you guys can do this. So bring your hands behind your back, knees up, feet flat on the floor. When you're ready, lift your hips and your belly to the sky for tabletop. Can you do it? Excellent. Come on down, shake out your wrists. This partner pose is called bunk beds. Bunk beds are two beds stacked on top of each other. Maybe you have them, maybe you have a friend that has them. We're going to make them with our bodies. So Layla's going to come over here. I'm going to come into that tabletop pose, and she's going to stand in between my legs. She's going to reach back and find my shoulders first, shoulder, shoulder, and then she's going to step up on, right on top of uh, my knees, right above my knees actually, drop her head back and lift her belly up for bunk bed. What a great pose. I love this pose. Me too, but there's no sleeping on these bunk beds. They're just for show. <laughs> right? Whenever you're ready, you can come on down. And after doing this pose, it's good to shake out your wrists and take a rest again in child's pose or mouse pose. Let's do that. <sighs> and when you're ready, come on up. And because we love it so much, let's do that one again. So I'm going to come back into tabletop. And again, Layla's going to stand up between my legs. She's going to reach back, find my shoulders. And then one foot at a time, step up right above my knees, lift her belly to the sky, right? This pose is so much fun and, and really very available to all. As you can, might be able to see, um, we're stacking bones. So Layla's shoulders are right over my shoulders, her legs are over my legs, and it's not like I'm holding her in my arms or on my back. I can really hardly feel her weight, which makes this pose so much fun and so available for just about anybody. Whenever you're ready, you can come on down, shake out your wrists again. Well done. Bunk beds are so much fun. Yeah. Now, let's do another stacking pose where we stack our bones, but we're going to do it in a little different way. We're going to do plank stairs. So we want to know first that you could come into plank pose, which looks like this. 
My body's one straight line between the top of my head and my heel, right? My legs are about hip width apart. Now, I'm going to do that again, but Layla's going to stack on top of me. She's going to face the other way. So I'm going to come back into my plank pose. Layla's going to grab onto my ankles and then step up one foot at a time. No tuck toes because that wouldn't feel good. And no knees for plank stairs. How does that feel, Layla? Feels good. This is fun. Yeah, I like this pose too. It makes me feel strong. And whenever you're ready, you could come on down. Nice, well done. All right, let's do partner L dog. So remember when we were at the wall? Well, we're going to do that again, but this time we're going to do it with our partner. Our partner will be the wall. So we're going to come into back to back downward facing dogs. Are you ready? So I'm going to make my leg just slightly wider than I normally would in my downward facing dog because I'm still a little taller than Layla and I want her to be able to come into a nice L. Whenever you're ready, you can step on up one foot at a time right on my sacrum, a very hard place on my body, on my low back, right? And we can see each other underneath. We can make silly faces. We can, if you're feeling strong, maybe get a high five. Oh, with a leg lift. That's my yoga girl. Well done. And whenever you're ready, you can step on down and we'll both take a rest again in child's pose or mouse pose. <sighs> it's very important to take these rests in between poses or as your body feels the need for it so that we can gain energy and let our bodies rejuvenate so that we can continue our practice and feel good and strong. And then when you're ready, come on up. Let's do that one more time. You ready? Yeah. Back to back downward facing dog. Whenever you're ready, step on up. And reach your bottom to the sky. Nice. Do you want to try lifting up a leg this time? Amazing. <laughs> and the other one. Amazing. And whenever you're ready, you can come on down. Good job. And again, let's take that rest in child's mm. Deep breaths, three breaths, four breaths, five breaths, whatever your body needs. Now, let's come up to stand, and we're going to do partner tree pose. It's actually partner tree poses. There's so many variations on it. Stand really tall with your feet together and imagine there's roots coming out of the bottom of your feet that go deep, deep into the ground, making you stand so strong and tall. Face your partner, reach your tree branches to the sky. You can hold hands and when you're ready, we'll lift up one leg for tree pose. We're both lifting up our left legs. Right? What a strong tree we are. Now, one of us will switch. Would you like to switch? You want me to switch? Oh, you'll switch. So now we're mirroring each other. Right? If we were looking, if I was looking in a mirror, this is the reflection I would see. Right? Is it easier or harder this way? Harder. A little harder. There's no right or wrong answer, but I'll agree with you for this one. It feels a little harder. Let's try mirroring the other legs. Easier or harder? Easier. This one feels a little, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we lose our balance, often. All right, let's try back-to-back -back trees. So make sure there's a little space in between you. We'll keep our tree branches down low this time. And let's both lift up our left leg. Just like we started before. Right? Easier or harder than when we faced each other? Actually, it's a little bit of both. A little bit of both? <laughs> How about you switch your leg this time so that we're mirroring each other back to back? <laughs> I'm going to say, for me, this side's harder now. How about you? It's a little bit harder. A bit, oh, we're settling in. Let's both change our legs so that we're mirroring each other the other way. How does this feel? A little bit harder. A little harder. And there's no right or wrong answer. It just makes us aware of our bodies and our partnership and how we're feeling that day. Let's separate a little bit. We can stand facing the same direction, legs together. And let's both lift up our outer legs. Tree pose. You can reach your other tree branches to the sky. Nice. Let's release and then both 
lift up our inner leg. Right? Easier or harder? They're both pretty easy. Yeah, I think it's both. Uh, we're doing a good job here. Feels good. Good strong tree. Mm -hmm. Let's come a little closer. And we'll, I can put my arm around your shoulder. You put your arm around my waist. And we'll put our outside feet together. Whoop. And we can bring our hands together. Oh, we can make a heart. Ah. <laughs> we can make tree branches up high. Oh, we can try to get our balance back. Ah. Let's try again. Ready? <laughs> Let's put our tree pose on our own legs to start. Woo, tricky balance day for me. Now, let's bring our feet together. Let's bring them together in the back. Let's bring them together again in the front. And again in the back. And in the front. And let's shake out our legs. That was tree craziness. That was hard. That was fun, though. Harder tree. All right, there's one more partner pose that we're really excited to show you. And this one is called bow swing. But before we do it, we want to know that you can do bow pose. Would you like to demonstrate bow pose? Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Right? So actually, can you turn to the side, Layla? All right. So Layla's on her belly. She reaches back, grabs hold of her ankles, lifts up her chest and her heart, even her legs for bow pose. Now you can release and turn back around. Perfect. So we want to make sure you can do that. Now, what I'm going to do to make this a partner pose is I'm going to lift Layla up while she's in her bow pose and swing her. So you're going to come back into bow pose. I'm going to grip her like this, like I'm carrying two cantaloupes, two melons. I'm going to reach under here and grab her wrist, her ankle, and her heel. So I have everything so that she's safe and secure, just like this. Wow, you're getting so big. I can now step in to where your arms and legs are into this big hole. I'm going to draw my own belly in so I'm not just using my back. I don't want to get hurt. I'm going to lift her up. Layla's going to just let go and release. Not get stiff or tight. This is fun. And I can swing her. This is really fun. <laughs> fun for me, too. Whee! Now I'm going to gently place her down, and I can give her some back love. Thank like you. Ah, oh, you're welcome. All right. Should we do that one more time? Of course. What a silly question. All right, so let me get out of the way. Now, if Layla, well, when Layla was younger, and I did not have the space to swing her uh, by stepping into her arms and legs into the hole there, um, my legs would go on the outside, just like this. But now that she is so big, I am able to finally step inside. I'll lift her up. And again, I can turn her. Whee! <laughs> and gently put her down and give her some back luck. And you can take a few breaths there, kiddo. Well done. Good job. How do you feel? I feel strong and energized. Partner poses are great. They're such a favorite part of our yoga class. Let's play a game. This game is called Mirror Hands, and there's one important rule, and that rule is that you must keep eye contact. What's the rule? Eye contact. Okay. So there's going to be a leader, and there's going to be a follower in this game. Who's going to go first? For this round, Layla's going to go first. We're going to both put our hands up about an inch apart from each other, Right? And as we just said, she is going to lead, and I will follow for the first round, keeping eye contact whenever you're ready. Go.
and blink and look away. Ooh, that was extreme eye contact. <laughs> now, round two. I'm going to lead and you're going to follow. Are you ready? Nope, I'm leading. You led. My turn. All right, let's all take a big breath in. <sighs> and here we go. <laughs> Keep eye contact. This is crazy. <laughs> Can you look at me? <laughs> what are you doing? And blink, look away. Woo! <laughs> okay, round three. In fun. this round, we will not decide who will lead or who will follow. Leadership will change many times over and over. A little nonverbal communication here. And uh, let's just see what happens. Let's all take a big breath in together. <sighs> Are you ready? <laughs> that was so much fun. I love playing mirror hands with you. Mirror hands is great for building confidence and self-esteem, working on eye contact, and it's so much fun, and I get to stare into my daughter's beautiful eyes. It always makes me laugh, too. Let's do wheel pose now. Wheel pose is such a great pose for keeping our back healthy and strong. So come and lie down on your back, knees up, feet flat on the floor, about hip width apart. With your hands, imagine that you are, your hands are inside of a tire and you're tracing the inside of the tire all the way around till your hands come down to the ground, fingers facing your shoulders. Now, just like a wave, lift your hips, your belly, push the floor away from you to come into wheel pose. Only hold this pose as long as your body says it's okay. And always breathe, right? Whenever you're ready, you can come down by tucking your chin gently in towards your chest and lowering everything down. Take a few breaths there. Ah. Let's do this great pose again. Lie down on your back. Bring your hands around the inside of the tire till they come to the ground. And like a wave, lift your hips, your belly, push the floor away from you with your hands for wheel pose. Hey, you're upside down. Hi. And breathe. And yeah, whenever you're ready, slowly lower down, chuck your chin into your chest. This time, hug your knees in. Oh. And take a moment right here and notice how you feel right now. When you're ready, you can roll over onto one side and come on up. Now we're going to start to wind our class down and come into relaxation, which is a really important, special part of our class. Lie down on your back and close your eyes. Relax your whole body. Let it melt away into the ground. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> ah. 
Think of your favorite color and imagine that color beginning to wash over the bottoms of your feet, the tops of your feet, over your ankles, slowly washing over your shins and your calves. Take another slow, deep breath in. <sighs> Let that color coat the backs of your knees, the tops of your knees. Let it cover your thighs, all the way over your hips. Take a deep breath in and out. Feel the color wash over your belly, over your ribs, your chest. Let it coat your back. Begin to wash over your shoulders. Take another slow, deep breath in. <sighs> Let the color start to wash down your arms, towards your elbows, the insides of your elbows. Slowly dripping down towards your forearms. Cover your wrists, the palms of your hands, the backs of your hands, all ten fingers, all the way down to your fingernails. Take a deep breath into your belly. <sighs> Feel the color wash over your neck. Let it coat your chin, wash over your closed mouth. Let it run down your nose, over your cheeks, and into your ears. Let it wash over your closed eyes, over your forehead, through your scalp, and all through your hair. Take another deep breath in. Notice how you feel to be this beautiful color. Notice how you look. Let your whole body radiate in this beautiful, vibrant color. Let your breath deepen even further. Now with every breath out, the color will begin to wash away from the top of your head all the way down to your toes. It can wash away as quickly or as slowly as you like. While your whole body relaxes and melts away into the floor. Take another slow, deep breath into your belly. feeling clean, refreshed, back to yourself. 
Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take your time to slowly hug your knees in towards your chest. When you're ready, roll over onto one side. And come back up to sit crisscross applesauce. Make a big stretch and a yawn. I feel so fabulous after yoga. How do you feel? I feel so relaxed and happy. Oh, I'm so glad. I love sharing yoga, especially with my daughter. Thanks so much for sharing your practice with me. I love you. I love you too. And thank you all for practicing yoga with us today too. Namaste. Namaste.